Today, I want to introduce to you the latest in modular chip system technology. My name is Ron Chapman, System Sales Manager at Prab, globally headquartered in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Let's begin. This fully automated and complete chip processing line will dramatically improve the way you process metal scrap and reclaim expensive cutting fluids. As you can see, this system has full access platforming, which is very convenient when it comes to service and access for visual inspection. The first part of this system is of course the feed hopper assembly. This is a modular feed hopper in that it has the main hopper assembly itself, the screw conveyor at the bottom, all as a single module that is completely pre-wired and ready to go. Now the significance of that is this is something that will not be installed in a matter of two months but rather in a couple of weeks and this is true with the entire system. This particular system is for a large automotive plant that will be producing engine blocks both heads and blocks and of course machining aluminum material. There are two points of introduction. The dump station there with chip carts and the other is auxiliary dump station that they can come up and bring it with a forklift and dump this material, both solids and chips and coolant, into this main feed hopper. The material as it's dumped will of course go across, pass across this grate. The grate has means of being a vibratory grate assembly so that it can vibrate allowing the chips and the coolant to pass through the grate and down into the auger system as you see below. The blocks and heads, for instance, would not be able to pass through as they're larger than the grate assembly. They would be picked off the side here by an operator. As the material discharges out the hopper, it's transferred by a screw conveyor, and that screw conveyor discharges the material into a heavy-duty steel uh, drag conveyor. From the elevating drag conveyor, we now see that the material will enter into a secondary separator. The chips as they exit the drag conveyor will enter into the separator. The separator will allow the chips and coolant to pass into the ringer system directly below me, while the heavy parts and solids will pass down a chute down into a container directly below. The first module was our hopper assembly. The second module is the heart of the system, which is the ringer assembly. This is the PRAB diagonal shaft ringer system. As I mentioned, chips and coolant will enter into the main housing of the chip ringer, and the chip ringer will remove the coolant from the chips by centrifugal force. We're pulling as much as 900 G's of force on the material to remove the coolant from the chips. You'll notice on this chip ringer it is a horizontal mount in that the shaft runs horizontally, two bearings on each end, very easily accessible. Access to the ringer is very simple in that you can just open these wing nuts and open the unit up and expose the inside. It's easily maintained, easily serviced. There are two points of discharge on the PRAB horizontal chip ringer. The first being chips only will discharge into this drag conveyor as you see here. Coolant on the other hand discharges out the bottom and into this fluid recovery tank. Again we accumulate here in the recovery tank. When we get to a certain level the coolant will be pumped over by two pumps over to this destination. Now what we will have here are two plastic totes that the customer will use to accumulate all of the fluid that is going to recover. And we could anticipate 300 to 600 gallons a day of coolant that's going to be collected from our ringer system. Fines, on the other hand, will be dredged out the bottom of this conveyor, elevate to a drag, and into this screw conveyor. The screw conveyor will take the material over, discharge it back into the drag conveyor here, which is the main drag conveyor that feeds the ringer system. So we are redistributing the fines back into the material flow and eventually 
that material works out with the good material. That whole assembly is mounted as one module and again is completely pre-wired and ready to install. Also, the panel is part of module two, which is completely integrated and pre-wired into the system. This panel is Allen-Bradley controlled with HMI interface. All components are completely pre-wired and ready to go, again, to simplify the installation process. Dry chips are discharged into the drag conveyor and are elevated into our third module, and that is the weigh belt system. The weigh belt will weigh the material as it's passing across the belt and monitor the weight and fill so that we do not overfill the downstream equipment, which happens to be the customer's semi-trailer. This is our final module for our system. This particular module is our drag conveyor, which is going to distribute material from the weigh belt to the customer's trailer. You'll notice on the bottom, there is a drag flighting that will take material and transfer it across the bottom of this drag conveyor. Segmented sections on the bottom of this drag will allow us to open or close however we want it to to optimize trailer fill. All PRAB chip processing systems have a 100% guarantee. This modular system that I presented to you today is just a portion of what PRAB can do for you. Our application team would like to sit down and meet with you to review your specific requirement. Thank you again for giving us this opportunity to show you our equipment and we look forward to earning your business.